You are welcome. Please the see part, the last person in, uh, in this list here. So doing this means we are going to apply the initial concept out of those four laws we learned in indices. So doing this means we are going to say that roots of this is a number, this is a number, letter, like likely letter, likely letter. So what I'm going to do is I will match this number with this number, this number with this number, as well as this number with this one. So I, you can see from here that we have 72 divided by 2. Here base is A, here base is A, one will be chosen to represent the 2. Power here is 3, power here is 5. Remember the division changes to minus and that becomes 3 minus 5. Followed by what? B. The power here is minus 3 since the gap between the two of them is still division, so that division changes towards minus. What is the power on this one? Minus 6. So it's better we block it like this. And that becomes root of what is 2 in 72? Okay, 2 in 2, 1, 2 in 7, 3, remaining 1, 2 in 12, 6. So that gives 36. Now we have a raised to power what is 3 minus 5? That gives minus 2. And here I have b raised to power minus 3. So we can see minus times minus a gives plus and 6. And that is the same thing as the root of 36. A raised to power minus 2. B raised to power. What is the result of minus 3 plus 6? That gives plus 3. We will write it as ordinary 3. To progress with this thing, and not making mistake is to re-express this in another form. The other meaning this thing has is this. It means when things is given like this in mathematics, and no number is written here, it is generally assumed that the basic form of root, the most simplest root that ever exists in mathematics is what? Square root. After it is cube root, four root, and so on. So, whenever a root is drawn, Without a number being a certain here, it is generally assumed that what 2 is going to be here. And I can also say that everything here is just about what 1. So, which means if I want to express this in an index form, and the best way I can express it in order to, not to make mistakes is to do what? To re express what I have here in index form. So, which means it becomes 36 a raised to power minus 2, b raised to power 3, everything raised to power. This one is the numerator. Why these two is what our denominator. And the meaning it has is this number, this power half, this one, this power half, this one, this power half. So that means 36 raised to power half, a raised to power minus 2. The way I'm going to say it, here it is, it will give its own half to it is by saying multiply by 1 over 2. And b here raised to power 3. Also multiply by what the half there, and that becomes so we can see this number itself is what we what we term the fractional in this. Is in that case, I'm going to say 36 to everything here is about one. But now here two can cancel two. I will left with a is about minus one. Here, nothing cancel out, but what we left with is what three over two, and this becomes. What number multiply itself two times to produce 36? You can see this is that 6 plus power 1 there gives 6. You can say multiply by a raised to power minus 1, multiply by b raised to power 3 over 2. And if you want, you can leave the answer like this by calling it 6 a raised to power minus 1, b raised to power 3, raised to power 3 over 2. The answer can be if you leave it this way, you can't progress beyond this level. We are still correct, but we can still solve it beyond that level. So what we want to do in that case is um, this negative sign. Let's do away with it. So to do that, that becomes so initially let's separate. So we can say six multiplied by a raised to power minus one multiplied by b raised to power three over two, and that becomes what six times. So when I get this negative sign, it's to say one over a. So if we want to consider this power one. Multiply by b raised to power 3 over 2, which means you can call this over 1, this over 1. When I multiply all the numerator, what I have is this <coughs> b 
be raised by three over two, everything over eight. So, if we leave it at this level two, the answer is still correct. Or, we can finalize the answer by saying <coughs> six root b squared b cube two b here, everything over eight. So, thanks for joining the class.